Hi, Phil with XenonSupply.com, your source for everything HID. Today we're installing HID lights on a 2004 Honda Accord. Let's pop the hood and get started. Here are the tools you'll need to do the installation. You'll need some painter's tape, a 10mm extended socket, socket wrench, the 8 zip ties included in the kit, and wire strippers. If you do not have the extended socket, you can still use a regular 10mm monkey wrench. You will also need the Xenon Supply Standard Kit. It comes with two ballasts, two bulbs, and the wiring harnesses, along with some wiring brackets. With any car installation, you need to remove the negative terminal on the battery before starting work. Use your 10mm socket, loosen the black terminal. What I like to do is take some painter's tape and cover it so it doesn't connect while you're working on the vehicle. Now for the 2004 Honda Accord, you actually have to remove this entire battery to get access to the headlight housing underneath. You will need to remove these two screws, they're 10 millimeter, and the reason why we're using the extended socket arm is so that we can get access on top of the screw. The positive terminal also has to be loosened and removed, as well as removed from this clip here on the side of the housing. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure to grab onto these rods before you unloosen the screw as they do have a tendency to fall down into the engine compartment. Last you turn off. Okay, you can now, this battery actually has a handle, just lift the battery up, set it somewhere safe. To remove your stock halogen bulb on the driver's side, you need to press on the white connector and pull down. Once the connector has been removed, you can take the bulb, turn it towards the inside of the engine compartment, and slowly release. There you go. To remove the passenger side bulb, uh, same process as the driver's side. Press down on the white connector, pull down, the connector should release. Now the bulb is going to turn towards the outside of the car frame, and you should be able to pull it out and there's the bolt. To mount the ballast in the engine compartment, you need to first assemble the mounting brackets. Go ahead and place the long piece underneath, clip this side in, and use the supplied nut and bolt to secure it firmly. This will use a small Phillips head screwdriver. The driver's side ballast has been mounted on this wiring harness leading towards the radiator with two zip ties, one here and one behind this plastic piece. To remove the plastic piece, there should be two bolts that you can pull back and pop out. As you can see, the zip tie is right here. Now that the mounting of the ballast is complete, we can take the new HID light and install it in place of the halogen bulbs. This one is going to be turning towards the chassis on this side. Now that we have the bulb in place, we can go ahead and connect all the wires back together. This is your stock harness that connects to the new HID harness. Make sure that the black and the black line up and the red and the red line up. Now 
Well, that's connected. The largest of the two wires here goes to the ballast. And these smaller male female amp connectors. As you can see, we've gone ahead and mounted the passenger side ballast to the wiring harness running along the chassis in front of the radiator. There are two zip ties that we've used, one in the back, one on the front here. Give it a good jiggle. It's pretty firm, not going anywhere. Now that the ballast has been mounted, we can go ahead and install the new HIDs. Now, because we had to turn towards the outside of the chassis to remove the old bulb, we will be inserting the new one at a slight angle with the grounding wire facing down and to your left. When you insert it, you are going to want to turn it back towards the engine to lock it in place. All right, we've cleaned up the wiring on the car, put the battery back on, replaced the battery hold on, tightened down our terminals. Let's go ahead and uh, check out these lights. <laughs> 